So the other day I saw a video on social media uh, about this guy alleging that uh, Starbucks was ripping us off <laughs> by uh, having the same volume of liquid in each of these cups. So we've got the three different cup sizes. Uh, this is the tall 12 ounce, the grande uh, 16 ounce, and then the vente 20 ounce, the big one. I usually get the grande by the way. Um, these are real Starbucks cups. Um, they're, you can see they're, they're empty. I got a little coffee residue in there. They are used uh, and they are legit from Starbucks, as if you can't tell. Um, this other guy, but he was like, he filled up the, the tall cup right to the very brim, poured it in the grande slowly, and it was full. And then he poured the grande into the vente and it was full again uh, without adding any extra coffee. So he's, he's basically saying that uh, you got the same amount of coffee with a tall as you do with a vente. Well, we're going to check that out because, you know, I'm all about fairness and <laughs> I don't like getting ripped off and neither do you. Um, so we're going to do this ourselves and just see uh, what's what. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, 12 ounces of coffee. Uh, I pre-measured it and you're going to see it's going to fill up the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. All right, so there we go. So you can see it's as full as you want it to be, right? Very full. And again, there's nothing in these cups. There's no, no trickery going on there, all right? So now I should be able to pour, the, pour this uh, tall into the grande and uh, have room for four ounces of liquid, right? 16 minus 12 is four, right? So I'm gonna pour this in. Yeah, it didn't spill. You can see there's room, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little handy dandy measuring thing and I'm going to measure four ounces of coffee. And yeah, I'm spilling some. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's four ounces. I'm going to pour it in here. And there we go, it's full. I'm afraid I'm going to spill it. Uh, you see it's full to the top. All right, so let's take this one, the uh, grande, and pour it into the vente and see what happens. All right, not quite full, right? So let's uh, take another four ounces of our coffee here. I might be a little short because I spilled a little bit. Uh, no, that's about right. So again, four ounces of coffee. So going from, you know, uh, 16 ounces to 20 ounces. So let's pour this in. And there you go. It is full to the brim. So good news is, is uh, Starbucks isn't ripping us off. I mean, <laughs> are they charging us too much for coffee? Yeah, that's arguable, right? Um, but we're not getting cheated on the volume, right? We're, we're getting a... Uh, tall for 12 ounces and we're getting 12 ounces as long as they fill it up. Uh, same thing with the grande, we're getting the 16 ounces and uh, with the vente we're getting the 20. So uh, don't fear, uh, if you want the vente cup then you're gonna get uh, 20 ounces as long as you, as long as they fill it up. <laughs> right? I guess if they short you on the fill or on the pour then I, I guess that's a different story. But uh, looks like it's debunked. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm no huge fan of Starbucks. I do drink their coffee, but, um, you know, I'm just relieved to know that we're not all getting ripped off uh, with the amount of coffee that we buy when we purchase these beverages. So hope that was helpful to you. Um, I'm glad I did it. I feel better now. So I don't know what this other guy's doing, but um, I don't know what can I say. Here it is. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, take care. Bye.